previously on Puddle. <laughs> Welcome back to Puddle. Into this update, we're gonna tackle the second half of the nursery chapter. We're gonna encounter some nasty Venus flytraps, or Dionea. This level really doesn't change the gameplay that we've seen in the past few levels a whole lot. Once again, we kinda see some repeats in some of the obstacles that we're seeing here. But thankfully, this is the last level of this sort into this chapter. The rest of the chapter will pretty much tread in brand new territory. It's time that we bring our weed killer to its next destination, in order for it to achieve greatness. As you might have noticed already, the Dianea do not instantly munch down your liquid. It has to be there for some time before it is entirely munched down. So if you do a quick pass of them, it will survive, but you really can't afford to stay there for too long. These plants do not care for any kind of significant diet or anything that may benefit their health. No, they will simply heat off anything that they will find. This section of the level is really fun, however, because you can pretty much choose to create your own path. Those branches are in the way? Destroy them. Or do you want to spare them? Sure, do that too. Just go around, go on every single one of these branches, and just enjoy the ride all the way down. You have two options for this section right here. Either you completely destroy the branch and tilt the screen all the way to the right in order to launch your liquid to the exit, or you can bend the branch just a little bit and make sure that you do not destroy it, therefore making a safe path to the exit without falling in the Venus fly traps. So there we go, the adventures of our weed killer is now over because it has been transformed into fertilizer and we're gonna do many other new things with it into the next two levels. We've had enough of destroying branches and trees and plants or anything that we want. No, this time we're gonna create our own plants. We're gonna have our own trees and they will be very tall and very proud. See this glow on the right? This is a future tree which is calling us. We're gonna get all of our liquid down here. To heck with all of these Venus fly traps. We're gonna make it grow and we're gonna make it big! The biggest that we can ever think of! Not even the forest was ready for what happened down here. This is a miracle in the making. But you can see that making miracles really isn't all that easy job because you have to swing your liquid all around the place and finally you have to hurry up and get your liquid all the way out of this plant because otherwise you're simply gonna be brought into an area filled with more of these fly traps and there will be no escape for you here. Now the second ascension is much trickier because the plant doesn't cover the entirety of the hole, so you have to be a whole lot more careful with how you swing your liquid. Now we're in the clear, but uh, cameraman, we're all the way up here. If you could tilt your camera just a little bit more, it will be appreciated. Yeah, unfortunately the camera for this part of the level really is bad. <laughs> Due to the camera issues with this level, it's definitely not the most glorious moment of the game, but at least I have to say that the idea behind the level was really great. It's too bad that the camera required a little bit more work. But thankfully, we won't have too much issues with the camera from now on in the game. So here's the final level of the chapter. Unfortunately, I didn't let the hint go on for long enough, but essentially it says you need to bring the bulb into those little holes in order to make plants grow, and finally, you must keep your fertilizer constantly in contact with it, and you must also make sure that you keep it in front of your fertilizer so that you're able to push it around. And this way we can make brand new plants grow all over the place in order to make it so that we can progress forward with the level. And maybe you should take a better swing before you try to do these kind of jumps with your liquid. And uh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna lose all of my liquid around this part of the level. After all, we need to preserve our liquid for what is probably the hardest section in the entire level. Oh, we need to keep all of our liquid grouped together, but not at the expense of the ball. Quick, hurry up before it decays! Whew, that was a pretty close one. Now, here's where I'm saying this is the hardest section of the entire level. Pushing the ball ball the way down here without losing any liquid is pretty tricky, but if you manage to do so, you get an achievement. Unfortunately, you won't see me get the achievements into the game because the achievements of the game are not linked to the save files or anything like that. They're all tied into the same executable of the game, so you can start a new game and earn all of the achievements again. No, you have to delete the entire save games all together and reset all of the achievement data if you wish to get all of them again. Now, the rest of the level is pretty much a picnic, but it's pretty easy to lose some liquid here because it will get dispersed all over the place. But all that you have to do is to push the bulb around, and here we go! That's the end of the chapter! Wow, I almost got a gold medal despite this really bad performance. Well, whatever, after all, I'm playing a normal. <laughs> So her next destination is gonna be a gloomy lab full of absolutely dastardous devices? Alright! This is gonna be fun. But we're not ready yet for chapter 3. Before we do so, let's take a look at the extreme difficulty changes in the last half of the nursery. The big change in level 4 is the fact that the ending branch where the exit is, is much longer. So therefore, you cannot make it so that you tread carefully on the branch and finally go to the exit. You're gonna have to make it fall down first. But once that you do that, the rest of the level is pretty easy. You just do that and here we go, our liquid is in the pocket. Or the bucket. In the fertilizer level, I think the only change that there is out there is the fact that the hit detection for the Dionea is much narrower and less forgiving, but other than that, there's no changes to the level at all. In fact, none that I noticed. On ball, things definitely change quite a bit on the extreme difficulty, such as in your bulb will wither a whole lot faster when it's not touching any fertilizer, but you can also be a moron like I do and just get it stuck in the worst place possible. Here we go. Unfortunately, our bulb has died, as well then all the hopes of this forest. Okay, now I'm sounding way too melodramatic, but here's the other big change in the level. Remember how come the bulb was in the way when we last played this level? Here, you're gonna have to be really daring with your fertilizer in order to bring it down. And finally, you have to drag it all the way down here, but... At least the area has been changed a little bit so that you're not bringing your liquid forward the sun's you. Instead, it's being sheltered by all of the branches. But here you have another big problem. If we're dragging our bulb all the way down here, we will pretty much lose all of our liquid. In fact, it's really hard to do this section without losing any kind of liquid at all. Okay, those are affordable losses. And with that said, that's pretty much all that there is to this level on the extreme difficulty. The rest is pretty much played the same way. So that'll be it for the nursery chapter, and stay tuned for my extreme gold medal run of the world.